in an average town lived an average boy with average pants. Kyle Lipton lived an average life until one extraordinary moment. are more important than not getting the plague. A, it's a graphic novel, and C, it's for a book report. I don't care what it's for. This place is a landfill. Oh, so unheroic. Philip, relax. I got a system. And what's that? I ignore it. Now, if you'll excuse me, this masterpiece isn't going to report itself. Cyber Ninja Mortimer battles his way toward it. The alien laser bunker suddenly... Hey! doing a comic book. Uh, it's a graphic novel. Suddenly, he hears... <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, he hears... <laughs> Perhaps Mr. Lipton would like to compose himself in the hall before continuing his comic book report. It's a graphic... A graphic... A graphic novel! <laughs> <laughs> What the? It's the Dimension Pants Alarm System! The pants are in danger! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what that thing is. But why did you set the system to fart? <laughs> well, I like to stay classy. <laughs> I don't believe it! You've had carpet this whole time? Oh no, Mom must have cleaned up. Where are the dimension pants? What are you two doing? This place was spotless five minutes ago. Five minutes ago? You're living in the past, Mom. Oh, found them. Oh, no! Those are dry clean only! Wow, you take laundry seriously. Yes. Well, fabric care is what separates us from the animals. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, come to think of it, those pants did behave a little oddly when I put them in the wash. Oh, this is a disaster! The pants of power must never be washed! Philip, they're fine. Oh, look, I'll show you. Dimension up! <laughs> Yeah, aside from a few sparks, they're totally. <laughs> <laughs> we got the wreck tape pants! Not funny pants! Not funny! <laughs> yep, they're pooched. You don't say. So, can we get them fixed or what? Well, yeah, we just have to take them back to. I mean, um, no. Fill up. Oh. The pants could only be mended by the high seamstress of Unicrone, but there's no way I'm going there. Ah! Oh, all right, I'll go. <laughs> nice one, pants. <laughs> ah, Unicrone. Where the people have horns, the buildings have horns, even the horns have horns. Yes, magical. Ooh, there's the shop. Let's go. I'll just wait outside. Come on, man, move it. These pants are still sparking my butt. <gasps> Billy! Oh, Mama, sweet Philly cheesesteak has finally come home. Hello, 
mother. Wait. Mother? Yeah. Please, mother. We are here on official business. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot Dimension Man is too busy for his mama. Uh, excuse me. Philip, who is this pasty human? None other than Kyle Lipton, a.k.a. THE Dr. Dimension Pants. Ow! <gasps> Great horns of Unicrone. These must be mended at once. Philly cheesesteak. I was a very greasy child. <laughs> Fortunately, I was able to fix the damage. Now, who was responsible for this egregious offense? Um, I guess it was Mom. <laughs> Wait, don't tell her. He didn't mean that. La, 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 la. Ignore the answer. Then this Mom creature must be dealt with by Destructicorn. Destructicorn? Is that bad? <laughs> Maybe Mom will just get a warning. A warning? Yeah, no. It's a Destructicon! But why would your mom want to destroy my mom anyway? The Unicrone High Council created Destructicorns to eliminate any and all threats to the pants of power. Like the rent cycle? Precisely. Look out! The owner of the pants demands vengeance! <laughs> Clean up in aisle three. Clean up in aisle three. The deli's on fire. Brent's the deli. Deli's on fire. <laughs> 69 cents a pound. Woohoo! Score! Yo, come on, you silly luck. The honors of the pants and my horn demand vengeance. <laughs> And my horn and my leg demand vengeance! Go on my watch! Uh, nice pony. Can we go pony ride now? Hey, Destructo Bot! It. Tough little fella, isn't he? That a Strucko Corn never gives up until his target has been eliminated. Suffers and my horn and my leg and my Yeah, head. yeah, everybody demands vengeance. Yes, we get it. Thank you. Well, I better finish him off then. No, wait! You can't destroy him or more destructive horns will be sent. <laughs> then I will stop him from nuking my mom. Hmm. If only we could trick him into thinking your mom was destroyed. Philip, that's genius! What's your dress size? Dude, come on! You look great! <laughs> your mom's dress <laughs> keeps riding up! Ah, it's a perfect fit, which is actually really disturbing. Okay, go time, buddy. <sighs> Fine. Ooh, what a nice day for a walk outside. I hope there aren't any angry destructo corns about, ready to blast me for what I did to those dimension pants. I have you now, Pants Record! <laughs> Oh, no! I'm hit! He got me! My days of destroying pants are over! Really? I did it? That was easy. Bless you, Lords of Unicrone! The evil mom is no more! Now the pants of power will be safe for all time! You were a worthy foe, Mom. But the universe is now a safer place. Mission complete, Destructor Corn. Return to Unicron immediately. As the command, I see, 
Is he gone? Yep, coast is clear. Oh, good. I can finally take off this stupid dress. Are you sure? That's a pretty good look. It really shows off your hips. They're called flanks. And thank you. Oh, seriously? After everything that happened, you still live like this. What if you need to find your pants? They're in here somewhere. Did you hear a Dimension Pants alarm? Then I guess I don't need to clean up, do I, smart guy? <laughs> no! Dude! Um. Hmm? Ah, I gotta find the pants! Gotta clean up! Gotta find the pants! Gotta clean up! What is going on in here? I farted. <laughs> <laughs> you should fart more often. <laughs> come on, you sure you can't come me a deal? <laughs> all right, all right. A fortune of Rebecca is worth it. But remember, you guys gotta capture her true beauty. <laughs> My new signature color. No one's allowed to wear it but me. Got it? No problem. I'd rather have my nails pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hiya, Bex. Feast your eyes on this nice mustache. You gave me a mustache? What? Uh, no, uh, that wasn't part of the design. Uh, look, Rebecca, I, I just want us to go out. Uh, maybe to a movie? With you? Sure, Kyle Lipton. I'll go to a movie with you. The day I'm starring in it. Presenting the movie event of the year, starring the amazing Rebecca Stella. Lights! So now this is my Princess Pink, which is like my new signature color, like, and no one's allowed to wear it but me, like, because I'm so pater. <laughs> <laughs> It's you, in a movie. I know, awesome, right? So, we go out now? Kyle Lipton, the only way I'd go out with you was if you were, I don't know, made of chocolate. How did that not work? Meh, more for us. You do know Rebecca's being sarcastic with all these requests, right? Or is she? No, she totally is, no question about it. Or is there? <sighs> Give it up with Rebecca already. You should look for someone else. Someone with maybe a dark and brooding stare. Never mind. Rebecca is a princess. She's not gonna be happy until you put a crown on her head. A crown on her head? That's it! Thanks, Liz. You're a chum. Yeah, he knows I meant that figuratively, right? Sadly, he's kind of a literal guy. <laughs> no! You cannot use the pants that go to the princess dimension. But I need a crown! My future happiness depends on it. And look where you can get there. Horn rings. Want, 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 want? I mean... Fine, we'll go, if we must. Let's get dimensional! Huh, I'm getting better. Last time the mustache ended up on my butt. <laughs> to the princess dimension! <laughs> Whoa! These are perfect! Who looks royal? Spoiler alert! Me! <gasps> yes! Rebecca's so gonna love me! Beware! I see! <laughs> Beware of what? Beware of how good I look in these horn rings! Why, thank you, m'lady! <sighs> no! I just say beware! Got it! Got it! Back away! Quickly now! Your magic 
Majesty, a present from your admirer, Kyle Lipton. <gasps> My dream crown! <laughs> oh, that's right. Play it cool, make it come to you. This is terrible! Ah. Rebecca has turned into an evil princess! Evil? Please. Rebecca's way too pretty. <laughs> I still say... Hear ye, hear ye! I be Hilarious, just a paw for Her Majesty, Evil Princess Rebecca! That crown of yours is crushing your brain. No way. Anyone else got a problem with my signature color? <laughs> Bored. <laughs> I want everyone to line up now and tell me why I'm so awesome. <laughs> Because you're the perfect blend of perfect, and I wouldn't change a thing. Good sniveling. Very nice. Next! Oh, ah, she kissed me! No, that was her guard toad flicking you into a wall again. <sighs> Close enough. Bedazzle those trees! Princess Rebecca? You are so right. Trees look much better this way. Who likes leaves? <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Not me. I demand my own personal merry-go-round. Now! I better get more horn rings for this. <laughs> She's so bossy. That's my girl! Are we still doing circles? <sighs> Bored. I am a princess. I want a fairy tale romance. Grant one royal kiss to the first prince who comes before me. Your Majesty, tis I, Prince Kai, Ertz of, um, uh, Dimension Land. <gasps> I can't believe my eyes. You're as pretty as me. What? Who is that guy? The prince of my dreams. But I'm the prince of this story. True, but he is hunkier than you. Even his horse is handsome. Meh, I've seen handsomer. Hmm, which prince shall I choose? Eeny, meeny, miny, cutie. I mean, Mo. Wait, uh, don't just pick him. Uh, we should have a contest. The winner gets a royal kiss a Rooney. A fight over moi? <laughs> I love it. Contest one, the horse race, and go! <laughs> Hurry, Philip, faster! Oh, stop digging your boots in my side! You know I get gassy! <laughs> the royal nastiness proclaims this next contest to be a joust! I'll kiss you if we can stop doing this. Competitive dancing with each other! Seriously? I'm going to spin you like a hamster wheel. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah? I'm gonna dip you like a nacho. Ow! 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 I'm going to whirl you like a thing that whirls a lot. Whirl away, pretty boy! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> the kiss is mine. <laughs> Where am I? What just happened? You had on my son's crown, and now that you've kissed him, you must marry him! I did warn you. 
Well, you just said beware. You really could have been more specific. Eh, I don't make the rules. But I don't want to marry a toad. They're so icky. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Rebecca's in trouble. Back off. The only toad she's going to marry is me. Uh, I mean, Dementia Sam. <laughs> You're safe now. I'm sorry for being such an evil princess before. It was cool what you did back there. I don't want to sound nice or anything, but <laughs> thanks. I like you. You do? Yes! Oh, wait. Does that mean you like Kyle too? No way. <laughs> He's gross. But you're not. <gasps> But she doesn't like Kyle, and that's you. One day she will, Philip. One glorious day. Oh, bow before Paul! Keith! Thank <laughs> you.